Hey guys, Zillogic here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a music component. So in this little component, we're going to bring together a lot of good things. We're going to bring together our album art, our buttons, our progress bar, and a whole lot of other cool stuff including stack groups. And also on top of that, I'll show you guys how to import and export components. So without keeping you guys waiting, let's get started. So we're going to go right ahead and add a new component and we'll click new. So everything in, in here should be parts of your component. So first off, we'll start off with the background rectangle. So we'll add a rectangle, a shape for now. Uh, we'll change this to rectangle. We'll do rounded corners and we'll make it big. And that looks about right. And we'll move it to the center. Oh, we'll go back. Uh, we have to move the component to the center. So now we're in the component and we'll move that to the center. So center and move it a bit down. Make it a bit bigger. So we'll go back to the rectangle. There you go. So that matches the background. Now we'll go to FX and it's texture bitmap. We're going to click over here on the checkbox and click on code and add in the music album art. If you guys want more in-depth tutorial on this, I have a video on this already. So there you go. Now we'll go back and we'll add in these buttons over here. These are for volume down, previous song, play pause, next song, and volume up. So to, to do that, we're going to have a stack group. Um, a stack group just is a container for here, let's see what this says. Container for objects that allows them to be stacked horizontally and vertically. So basically it makes them very straight and organized like so. Uh, so we'll go in the stack group and on the left we have our volume. So we'll add a new font icon. And we'll click over here and change the icon to volume down. Like so. There you go, that's our first one. So then we go to touch and we'll add a touch action for it. And we'll make it so that it talk it does music controls and makes the volume go down. And it's as simple as that. So we'll add in our next font icon. So let's just copy and paste this actually. Copy and paste. And we'll go and I see how it's uh, vertical over here. We can go to the layer of the stack group and make it stacking horizontal center. So just like that. So that's fixed. And now we'll go back to the stack group and the next volume button over here and make it into a previous song button. All right. So you should have something like this. Now we can go to our stack group and change the padding in between each icon. So we'll go to layer and oh, it's called margin. So we'll increase the margin. And that looks about right. We can put it like that for now. And we'll change the position of the stack group um, to the bottom like that and we'll just add some bottom padding there you are so once you have that we also have a functionality so that when you tap the play button it goes to the pause button and when you tap that again it goes to the play button so we'll add that in right now so we'll go to our play button and we'll go to icon and click checkbox and add some code. So click it again. And um, oh, let's keep track of what the name of the icon is first. So it's called play circle outline. So let's add some code in. If the music is playing, let's see here. Um, this, 
if mi state equals playing oops that playing now if music is playing we want the pause button to show so so we'll have um pause underscore circle underscore outline and that's the icon that we want if the music is playing if music is not playing then we'll have the play circle icon play circle outline oh outline there you go and we'll close close the bracket and dollar sign so basically what this is is that it's an if statement um, so if music state is playing and there's a comma then we'll have the pause circle outline button and then this comma after that we'll have the else so that means if it's not playing we'll have the play circle outline so we'll click check as you can see music is not playing right now so we'll, so we're showing the play button we can click save and test this out actually um, so let's test it out if you click this it goes to the pause button click it again it goes to the play button so let's go back into that now lastly um, oh it's actually second last we'll add in the progress bar uh, if you guys haven't seen that already that was in one of my other videos so um, I'm just gonna copy it over from here um, music progress and we'll copy that and we'll go over here uh, component and paste that in that's looking good um, we'll change the position a bit there you go and last but not least sorry now we have our text so we're gonna add in a stack group for the text to make it more organized in a stack group we're gonna have our first text which is gonna be our song name so we'll go over here for the music delete this over here add in our song name it's mi title click check mark there you go and notice how it's a bit too big so what we're gonna do to fix that is make the type to fit with uh, sorry fixed with and make max lines to be one and we're just gonna increase the size of our uh, text and make the width bigger see so what this does is that um, the text has a, has a constant size and it stays within the width that you put and if you put max lines to one it's only one line long if you put it to two it'll go two lines but we want it one line um, and we'll go back and then we're gonna add our second part of our stack group which is gonna be our album uh, name so we'll click this actually we'll make it the artist name so we'll click over here and change this to artist name uh, music and artist name check mark and there you go so now we're gonna change the font of these because they don't look too good right now so we'll fix that up quickly no problem first I'm gonna move the text a bit up so that looks good and let's go over here oh, let's go back and in a component um, you have your own global variables so a wallpaper has its own global variables and a component does as well so we'll go to the glo global variables of the component and we'll add a new variable called font and we'll make it a font click OK and we'll make it um, let's do Roboto regular that looks good to me so now nothing happened because our text isn't set to the global variable so we'll go back to our text and we'll click over here and make it a global variable and click it again 
and choose our font called variable. So as you can see, our text just changed to that. So we'll go back, go over here, do the same process. And um, I'm gonna change the font actually. I'll make it Roboto Condensed. That'll look a bit better. There you go. And we'll click Save. Also, one more thing you can do is go to Shape and FX and add a bit of blur into the background and make it a bit more dimmed as well. There you go. Now it looks more smooth. And um, also, once you are done your component, you can export the component. So we'll click over here to export that. And you can name it whatever you want and click export. So now when you go to another wallpaper, you can import that same component into the other one. So one thing I forgot to mention is that animations can be applied to a component as a whole but you can't apply individual animations to objects inside a component. Um, yeah, that's just one restriction of components and overlap groups. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you guys next time.